Well, I'm back. Another singles match in World War Movie Trivia. Very happy to be here. I came into these leagues for three reasons. One, to have fun. Two, to compete. And th third, most importantly, I came here to be the champion. I came here to win a belt. All right. I got, got, has anyone seen Brooklyn around anywhere? I, where did he go? Um, the last the last team match didn't go so well, and he's just kind of disappeared. Um, where did he, I, I have no idea where he's gone. I'm a bit worried. He may have, you know, splinched himself when he operated out. Something like that. Got a victory in my first match. Now I'm on this guy. Ed, you're a nice guy, but this isn't about J.R.R. Tolkien. This isn't about Middle Earth. It's not about Harry Potter. This is movie trivia straight up. Nothing to do with inner geekdom. This is just straight up movie trivia. Let's see who the better competitor is. I have a pretty good idea. It's me. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. I already take my first step, but you are in my way, son. You are in my way. I'm just here to do some, you know, movie trivia, which I'm not the greatest at. But I'm going to try and beat Ryan. If he'll give me, like, permission to beat him. That's his name, right? Ryan Permission? Of getting a shot at that belt. And today, I got to take you down. It's as simple as that. I think you're going to put up a few good points for sure. But in the end, the hunter is going to walk away with another victory and get one step closer to getting a shot at the belt. Let's have a good match. Let's see what happens. I might have to summon Julie Andrews to help me on this one, but you know, like, if whatever will happen will happen. Who knows? Uh, let's, let's do some trivia, Brooklyn. Uh, I pray for you. Please come back. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Worldwide Movie Trivia, the Singles League. I'm as usual your host, the Grand Admiral Case Grenada, so joined by, once again, Asher Bold Gold uh, for a match between two 1 0 players today. Uh, Asher, what do you think about this match today? First of all, another uh, frequent no-show by Jim. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm back, so I, I can't wait to host this with Case. These are two very good competitors who talk an interesting amount of smack with each other. Uh, Ed seems to be a little bit you know, taken aback by the situation, while we have Ryan, who's sort of has a destined plan. So I don't really know what to see going into this match, but uh, they both seem to be very good competitors on their own and as well as teams. So I can't wait to see what happens. Um, it's just, you know, some conflicting uh, personas going on right now. <laughs> well, in terms of teams, they've had a little bit of uh, bad luck recently. Actually, one of the competitors lost against me. Uh, that's unfortunate. However, I'm not in singles, so this is a chance for him to shine. Uh, and also, uh, where Ed m may have uh, been carrying uh, Brooklyn before, he's on his own now. He can... Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, it's anyway, with a mark against he, he, Julie Andrews. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, he's on his own now uh, without Brooklyn uh, to, show, uh, to prove his uh, worth here. Um, and yeah, uh, both of these guys won their first match, uh, so they won an O. And these guys will actually play in the next match if they win against the Sandman himself, Sandy Robinson. Uh, and that, of course, will be a number one contender match. So uh, yeah, these guys have something uh, to uh, fight for today. Uh, if they win, they get a good match uh, against a good competitor for sure, uh, because. Well, this singles league is still <laughs> uh, this singles uh, league is still pretty young. Uh, so yeah, uh, two and zero gives you a number one contender match. Uh, Three and zero will give you that title match at the snowball. Then, uh, so who do you think will win today, Asher? Who do you think between these two has the momentum? Well, I always like an ego, so um, I'm going to choose Ryan just because of his drive. Uh, Ed seems a little bit shy. But I think that could be a good tactic. So I don't know. I'm going on a little bit of an edge for Ryan, but I, you know, it's a toss up, honestly, right now. No, well, that's a uh, very fair. Well, of course, Ryan uh, is the favorite. Actually, let's introduce these competitors. Uh, let's uh, see what they uh, bring to the table. First up, we have the Potions Master at Sill. He is 1 and 0 right now. And his, uh, he's, of course, part of the Atomic Nation. And his strengths are Harry Potter, 
and Julie Andrews, uh, who of course famously gave him uh, his first win. Wow. And his opponent is the hunter Ryan Permison. He is one and zero, the number seven ranked competitor. Actually, he's ranked and is just outside of that, those top ten rankings. Uh, if he wins today, that will uh, boost him. Uh, but Ryan. 1-0, number 7 rank competitor. Uh, his strengths are 90s kids movies and very, very hot takes and unpopular opinions. All the time, on every single movie. So with that said, uh, Asher, how does round 1 work? Round 1 works like this. Competitors are given 8 multiple choice questions from 8 different categories. They have to write down <laughs> the answers on their whiteboards. So they're given 15 seconds for each question. Uh, remember, you all have your three repeats and everything like that. And if you get all eight correct in this round, you get a ninth question, a ninth bonus question that you will get that is worth one point. Every question in this round is worth one point. That is very true. And of course, they have three repeats that they can use throughout the match to either stall for time or hear the question again for clarification. So with that said, Ryan, are you ready? I'm ready to go, sir. Ed, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in that case, Asher, hit them with the first question. Okay, and the first question, the category of animation. Name the 1995 film in which Kevin Bacon provides the voice of a sled dog. Kevin Bacon. He is like in every movie. Yeah. So th this really does narrow it down. Well, or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm Jewish and I don't keep kosher, so I like bacon. I like Kevin Bacon. Um. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, guys, we go for five, four, three, two, one. Pence down. Ryan, what do you have? Uh, I took a guess. Was it Balto? That is correct. One point. Oh, and wow. Ed, did you have that? Bacon, bacon's tasty. <laughs> it, is, it is tasty. Uh, <laughs> okay. But, uh, okay, Ryan takes an early lead as yeah. we go into the category of recent releases. Who plays the antagonist Matthias Vogel in Tomb Raider? What I thought was a very enjoyable movie. Even though it's definitely... I mean, it's still a video game movie. Yeah. Nothing to really you say. Nothing to really say about it. I like Alicia Vikander. Never seen it. That's true. I enjoy. I enjoyed it. I thought it was all right. Is it going five, four, three, two? Well, they have it. So we start with Ed. Um, Jake Johnson was in that film, but I don't think he's evil. No, that's not no. the character we're <laughs> looking for. Uh, Ryan, did you have it? Uh, that would be Justified's, uh, Justified's own Walton Goggins. That is correct. Save, Another point. Saved yourself on the pronunciation the second time. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, question number three. Got a 2 nothing lead for Ryan right now. No pressure, Ed. Uh, in the category of sci-fi fantasy, besides Star Wars, what other 1977 movie did John Williams compose the score for? Now, Star Wars has such a great score. It's arguably the best score in cinema, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Definitely. The other, now, the other score was good. Yes. Not, a, not that big a fan of the movie, but the score is good. Okay. I mean, it's debatable. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. One, uh, Ryan, what do you have? Was it Close Encounters of the Third Kind? That is correct. That is correct. And Ed, did you get that? Yeah, I've got Up Close and Personal with Aliens. Yep, that's <laughs> correct. And he's on the board. As we go into the category of directors, who directed Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets? So I recently rewatched this, and this is not a good movie. It has a lot of fun concepts, ideas, but not necessarily a good movie. A whole, whole lot of hot people in this movie, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's for sure. Oh. Uh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Ed. 
Lock Besson. <laughs> That's a way of pronouncing it, but we will accept that yeah, answer. Yeah, yep. Uh, and Ryan, did you get that too? The correct pronunciation is Luc Besson. Yeah. And that is indeed the correct pronunciation. Both got it. Ryan's still perfect halfway through this. Let's go. Yep. We're going into question number five in the category of <laughs> comedy. What emotional painful what emotionally painful event does Jason Siegel's character endure while he is naked early on in forgetting Sarah Marshall? Uh, Got this, is such, this is such a great moment. <laughs> gotta say, one of my favorite movies of the two thousands. Loved this movie. One of my one of my favorite comedies for sure. Yeah. It was, it was so much fun. So so funny. Uh, uh, um... I see uh, wow. a lot of writing, actually. Just hammering on the board right now. <laughs> As we go in five, four, three, two, one. Ryan, what do you have? I said his girlfriend kicked him out. Okay. Uh, like, we'll like see what Ed has. Yeah, Ed. Uh, I said he was broken up with. Yeah, that, yeah. It's it's. Bro he didn't get kicked out. He was still in the apartment. Uh, yeah. He she broke so he up. Was with dating. Him. He was dating Sarah Marshall. And Sarah Marshall broke up with him, and she left. But he stayed in the apartment. So Ed gets the point. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So I was okay. right. close. Guess, close. Okay. But her, it was very close. Was That's off. true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into the category of quotes. In 2000s X Men. Rogue asks Wolverine if it hurts when his claws come out. What is his two-word response? I think this is a two underrated words. movie. Like a lot of people always mention X2 yeah. and the newer movies, but I think that the first one I see is a pretty good setup for comedy. I mean, everybody. I just rewatched. I just rewatched X Men. I love it. I mean, everybody talks about Origins Wolverine as like one of the best. So. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that, that's a hot take that Ryan would have. <laughs> uh, because I'm in the minority who actually likes X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, I was just watching 30 minutes of it last five, night. We go in five, four, <laughs> I was. three, two, one, and we'll go with Ed first. I just went with what I would say, and that's no shit. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, Ryan, did you get it? When they come out, does it hurt? Every time. That is correct. And 60% oh. of the time, it works every time. Every time. <laughs> uh, that's a different movie in a different genre, shit. but I understood the reference. Thank yes. you, good sir. <laughs> Man, imagine Paul Rudd as Wolverine. That would be crazy. <laughs> Ooh, that would be bad. <laughs> okay. Admin, well, Wolverine good. doesn't age, and neither does Paul Rudd, so that's, that yes. would work. Yes. He has been, yeah, he has been drinking the immortality juice, so yes. good for Paul Rudd. And... Question six in the cat. Oh no, that would be question seven. I'm bad at math. Question seven in the category of sports movies. What 1999 sports movie sees Denzel Washington as a boxer named Reuben Carter? Ooh. I wonder. If, I wonder if the title of this is right. We'll see. How many uh -huh. boxes do you own, Case? <laughs> This this is only this is a question that only Asher Bull can come up with. Well, you you, 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 you said you, stuff like that. I mean, you moved Asher. you moved recently, so you might have some boxes lying around. I don't know. Mm, that's very true. Uh, yeah, I I have boxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, we're going five. <laughs> oh my god. Four, three, two, no. one. Ryan, what do you have? I took a guess. Was it the hurricane? That is correct. That's correct. Actually, okay. yes. Ed, did you get that? No. I have The Longest Yard. Is that even a film? That's a football. Uh, it's a foot I think, I think football. that's a film, but that's not a I don't know the American sports. <laughs> it's a football Bo movie? Bo By the way, boxing is a universal sport. It is. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so not, spe not specifically American. I don't know the Denzel. No. <laughs> we go into the last question category of comic book movies. It's a very short question, but pay attention. Name two of the Warriors three. I think that they have enough information with that. <laughs> yeah, I love this question because I would just make up names, which I think, Yeah, you would. <laughs> which I think, if they don't get it, they should make up names. Is... By the way, <laughs> I will say, if you try to write down all three, 
and one of them is wrong, you don't get the point. Yeah. So oh, just shit. Yeah. Just make it... sure. Just make sure that you have to. Uh, that you have two that you are sure yeah. of. Yeah. Choose. Hold on. Hold on. Choose the two most anyway, confident we answers. Go. In. All right, never mind. Five. I got it now. Four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one, and we go to Ed first. Um, Olstag and Fandro. I don't know if I've spelled that right. We'll accept it. Okay. It's close okay. enough. Uh, yeah, that's correct. And Ryan, did you get that? I said uh, Sif and Volstag. That is incorrect because it's Lady, it's Lady Sif, Sif and, and the Warriors uh, Three. The Warriors Three are Volstag, Fandral, and Hogan. Okay, Hulk Hogan. Hogan. So, so if, Hulk I said, Hogan. Asian guy. If, if I had said Lady Hulk Sif, Hulk Hogan is an Asian. No, no, be, no, because Lady Sif. And oh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, like, she's separate from the other guys. Yeah, okay. when, yeah they're introduced we, as Lady we, Sif and the Warriors Three. Yeah, when we, mm. we first meet them in Thor, then uh, Thor, uh, like, okay. uh, presents That's all right. them as this is Lady Sif and the Warriors Three. No, so the three. Okay. All right, so coming out of round one, uh, Ryan is in a slight lead, uh, six to four, but a lot can happen, of course, in round two, and we still have round three to go. So in round two, it is the wheel round as we know it now, where Ryan will choose to go first or second. Once that decision is made, the person going first will bet on either red or black and spin the wheel. If the wheel lands on a color, then uh, the competitor can choose to uh, can, the competitor with that color can choose a category for themselves or for their opponent. But if it lands on a normal category, then they can choose to stick with that category or spin again. However, they do have to stick with the second category that they spin if they choose to go again. From the category, they get four questions worth two points apiece. However, if they don't know it. Based on the question alone, they can go for multiple choice, knocking it to one point, and they're stealing in this round, so be aware if your opponent misses a question. But that said, Ryan, you're in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll defer. He'll defer. Yay. He'll force us, uh, he's forcing Ed to go first, so Ed, better on red or black? <laughs> Blood is red. <laughs> Oh. That is uh, that that is true, and uh, uh, I, I kind of knew. I'm getting some weird serial killer vibes from Ed right now. Well, I th- I think that I didn't uh, kill the serial. I, I, just I think that Do- I think that Dollface, her uh, presence in the Atomic Nation, has uh, given up, uh, given Ooh. off on Ed. She's scared. Anyway, <laughs> with that said, I'm gonna spin the wheel, and we'll see what it lands on. And hopefully, it's not a blank category because it's been known to do that. It is a blank, <laughs> it is a blank category. category. Hey. Fuck this thing. And wow. <laughs> get 15 why, spots why for one blank. The one blank. Holy fucking time. Okay, no, That's no, no, the no. category of movie sharks. Mm, not talking about I really Mark like Cuban. sharks. Talking about it, sharks. I don't think I've seen enough films with sharks in them. Can we spin that again? Yes, oh. we can. So whatever it is now, you'll have okay. a second clip. Mm. <laughs> and it will be the category of Liam Neeson. All right, so at uh, you will start be stuck with the category of Liam Neeson in this round. I have a particular set of skills and it's not Liam Neeson. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Okay. Uh, Alright, Asher, okay. can you ask him the yeah, questions in I'm, Liam Neeson? I'm very disappointed that he is the prop and a bitch. In the category of Liam Neeson, uh, which you chose on your own, uh... <laughs> How many acting Oscar nominations has Neeson received? One. Two points. That is two points. That is correct. Darn it. Shin is this. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are correct. Which he did deserve it for. Yes. In question number two, The Grey takes place in which U.S. state? Alaska. Two more that- points. Wow, you said you don't know your Neeson. He's <laughs> got four points already. Question three. Name the 1996 film in which Neeson plays a real-life Irish freedom fighter in the 1920s. Can we give me multiple, please? Yes. Your options are A, Last Dance, B, Michael Collins, C, Mother Night, or D, Secrets and Lies. Michael Collins? One, One more point. Wow. Nice. So well so far. Neeson's the new Julie Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> and question four to finish off the category of Liam Neeson that you have Liam Neeson out of. 
Which actress plays Neeson's daughter in the Taken series? Mm, multiple, please. Your options are A. Sophia Bush B. Emily de Rabin C. Maggie Grace or D. Hayden Panettiere Maggie Grace? Another Whoa, point. point! Wow! Jeez. Wow. Got all those guesswork. questions. Total of six points. He's now in the lead. Ten to six. I should go to Ryan's spin. Love Liam Neeson. Wow. The bit, the, the the bit the worked one. out. The bit worked out. Alright, so, Ryan, here is your spin. Ryan, do you, have, the wheel. do you have a prop for yours? No, I do not. <laughs> it is sports the category movies. of sports movies. Would you like to stick with us or go again? Uh, can you list off the yes. remaining categories? Is that a possibility? Uh, I thought he was going to ask for a list of the sports I, I can, that maybe uh, asked about. Categories that are, that are uh, still available in this round are movie sharks, movie release dates, dramas, roll call, of course, you are you are on sports films, movies with debt in the title, recent releases, Stephen King movies, movies about Latino Americans, Your Strength, 90s Kids movies, and Harry Potter, which is at strength. Oh, boy. Let's go again. Spin the wheel again, please. Okay, so whatever it is now, you will have to stick with... And we'll see. Let's see if it lands on blank. It doesn't. Oh, ooh, Hold ooh, that is. It that, is. That, that's you. Movie sharks. That's your. No, that's your. It is oh. actually the category of Harry Potter. I think it is Harry Potter. You, yeah, no, yeah. 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 by the I, I, can, of I probably won't be able to sh show it as close, but oh, I, do, I, do I can see, see it. it. It's yeah. like right in between them. It is right. right no, but it is slightly it's, on it's, Harry yeah. Potter. Actually, I'm so, sorry. I'm sorry, Ryan. I will have to ask you the questions in Harry Potter. Oh boy, how about? Oof. First how Julie Andrews, and then a, then a, yeah, then a centimeter. This, uh, this is going all in Ed's favor so mm. far. All right, Brian, your first question in the category of Harry Potter. A Quidditch team consists of how many members on the field in Harry Potter in the Harry Potter series? Multiple choice. Options are A, 5, B, 7, C, 9, or D, 11. Can you repeat the options one more time? 5, 7, 9, and 11. 7. One point. That's a point. Point. Three chasers, two beaters, key yeah. best decon. Yep. Wow. He, he, no, of course. It's a strength. He should. Your next question. What character was caught out late with the three heroes and given detention with Hagrid in the Forbidden Forest in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? I don't know who yeah, wrote this, it but right. it's, the, it's the Philosopher's Stone. What student was caught out late with the crew? Uh, in the... What student was caught out late? Uh... Draco Malfoy. Two points. Two points. Well done. Well done. Whew. Okay. All, All right. right. The next question. In what location did Harry receive Snape's tears in Deathly Hallows Part 2? We'll be leaning. Okay. I'm going to need multiple choice on this one, please. Options are A, the hospital wing, B, the forbidden forest, C, the the boathouse, or D, the room of requirements. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the options again one more time? A, the hospital wing. B, the forbidden forest. C, the boathouse, or D, the room of requirements. The boathouse. One more point. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> He's going, he's, uh, going uh, well so far. Let me add him. <laughs> and your last question. Fill in the blank of the sentence that Harry must write a lot of times, which ultimately gets branded into his skin. I blank not tell lies. 
fill in the blank. Just, I think I know what it is, but just to be safe, I'm going to go multiple choice. Is it A, shall, B, promise to, C, must, or D, will? <sighs> Repeat the options again. A, shall, B, promise to, C, must, or D, will? Shall. That is incorrect. incorrect. Must. I must not tell lies. Uh, that is correct for a point steal. Right. At least I played it safe and went to multiple choice. That's a good call. Yeah, good I call. Just, if you'd known from multiple, I would have stolen all four of those. Yeah, I did yeah, have to play it safe. Oh. That's a good yeah. call, However, and Ed's in the close. lead by one. Close. With that, okay. we go into round three, and this game is suddenly very close. Ed is in a very slight lead of 11 to 10. Okay. Uh, but still, a lot can happen in the IMDb round. And how does the IMDb round work, Asher? The IMDb yeah. round works like this. Our two competitors each receive three questions, worth two, three, and five points, respectively. Uh, they go up the ladder answering questions. The first question is going to be of actor and genres. The second question is going to be of director and keywords. If I'm yeah. correct, yep, I'm correct. Yeah. And the third, and the third question, which is worth five points, is going to be a choice of two of the following options: actor, co-actor, director, and plot keywords. We will go and back course, and forth, debated uh, on who is in the lead. And of course, uh, you for every movie, you also get the year. Yeah. Lead. <laughs> uh, you can choose the numbers: movie one or two. Me, oh, uh, one. Three or four? Four. And five or six? Ask me a mental age or which number I want. Five. Five. Five for both. Five. Okay. <laughs> Giving uh, Ryan uh, two, two, three, three six. and six. Mm. Ryan okay. will start uh, this round because he's behind. I'll ask Ryan the questions. So, Ryan. Your two-pointer was released in 2010. Your genres are comedy and music, and your actor is Jonah Hill. Can you repeat the question, please? That's your first repeat of the game. So okay. your two-pointer mm -hmm. is released in 2010. Mm -hmm. Your genres are comedy and music, and your actor is Jonah Hill. Get him to the Greek, final answer. Two points. Two and points. you don't have to say Point. final answer, it sinks. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just, you know. Alright. Well, Asher, ask uh, Ed his two-pointer. Yes, Ed, you chose movie number one. Your year is 1983. The genres are comedy, crime, and drama. And your actor is Tom Cruise. Hmm. Five, four, three, oh, I don't know. two, no, I one. Didn't. No guess. Wow. Risky business. <sighs> you do have all, all right. three repeats. You do. If you need yeah, them. Yeah, I just ask. knew I wasn't gonna get it. Okay. Uh, that means I'll <laughs> ask. I'll ask you your three then. Uh, four. Yep. Uh. To take the lead and push it back to Ryan, you chose movie number four. Your year is 2002. Your plot keywords are virus, military, and London, and your director is Danny Boyle. Um, 28 days later. Three points! That's three points. Well yes. done. All right, so back to Ryan. This is a good game. Ryan, your three-pointer, then, was released in 1979. Your plot keywords are motorcycle, hacksaw, and police, and your director is George Miller. Motorcycle, hack... Oh, um... Uh, uh, uh... Mad Max. Three points! Three points! Wow! Yeah, Mad Max. What a battle. 
going on. Now, Only the five point is left. Yep, so. and Ed, uh, you have all three repeats, and you have <laughs> to hit this in order to swing it back to Ryan and stay in the game. This could be a long one. You chose <laughs> movie number six. Your year is 1996. Choose either actor, director, co-lead, or plot keywords. Choose two of those options. Uh, actor and keywords, please. Actor and keywords, as per usual. Okay. Once again, your year is 1996. Your actor is Luke Wilson, and your plot keywords are Texas, motel, and robbery. Oh, jeez. have all three hmm. repeats. I don't know if your repeats are gonna help me. Um, yeah, just repeat it anyway. Okay. For the drama. Your okay. first repeat? Your year is 1996. Your actor is Luke Wilson, and your plot keywords are Texas, motel, and robbery. I feel like director and co-actor could have helped me. <laughs> mm. I thought it was older, so I was like, director wouldn't be that helpful because I'm, I'm, I'm a baby. Five. Ah. Uh, four. Fuck it, I've lost. Three. Congrats, Ryan. Two. One. And your winner, the hunter, Ryan Permison. We were looking for Wes Anderson's first movie, Bottle Rocket. Yeah. That was yeah. Cool. The I other like two options wow. might have. The other two options would have helped a lot more. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, because the director is Wes Anderson and the co-actor is Owen Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Damn. Wow. What a what a game between these two. Going to almost the last question, um, but Ed actually hit yet another IMDb uh, movie. I think. Uh, go I mean, one. Uh, <laughs> but let's talk to our winner first, Ryan. At this point, you are two and zero and facing Sandy Robinson <laughs> for a number one contender match. How does this feel? <clears throat> wow. Uh, Sorry, I just gotta. <laughs> Wipe the uh, sweat off my the invisible sweat off my brand spanking new hat that's ridiculously good looking on my head right now. Um, this is uh, amazing. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna uh, do very well with round two with it being Harry Potter because ugh, not very strong in that category. I'll be pl I'll be perfectly honest, but I uh, I played it safe when I had to. Uh, if I knew the answer, I answered it uh, as I should have and um, played the game the best way I knew how to and. Uh, you know, I came out with the victory in the end, so this, this makes me very happy. Uh, going up against the Sandman is not going to be an easy feat. Uh, I like Sandy. He's a good man. We call him the Sandman for a reason. Uh, but uh, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to be ready, and uh, hopefully I'll win that match and be the number one contender. So this this is a good this was a good win. Uh, this was a good match. Ed, you uh, when Harry Potter came in, I thought you you know if I didn't get get it right, if I, I was ready. Choice or even, go for yeah, going for the two-pointer. I, I thought for sure you were going to steal all the points from me, boy. But uh, not today, son. Not today. Today was the Hunter's Day. It was my day for victory, and uh, I'm happy about it. So good match. Thanks for having me. I look, I'm look. i very much looking forward to the number one contender match. This was great. Yeah, it definitely was. And uh, you definitely fought, uh, fought hard uh, in all rounds, uh, getting a lot of questions right. So mm -hmm. well done, and I uh, really can't wait to see you uh, face Sandy next. Uh, with that, Ed... Unfortunately, you lost, but you put up a hell of a fight. Uh, I think there's nothing to be ashamed about, especially that round two where you killed. Yeah, like unlike all the bad guys in Taken, I killed Liam Neeson. <laughs> 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 that was fun. I said I really thought him. I might actually win when Ryan spun Harry Potter, but he was really smart and did multiples, so I didn't get the two pointy steals. <laughs> I had really lots of fun today. Um, honestly, going into this match, I thought maybe if I lost, I was done, like retiring wise. But I had so much fun. I think I exceeded my own expectations. I'm gonna keep doing stuff. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, really excited for Ryan to face Sandy. That should be a really good match. I think this was mm -hmm. a good match. Oh, it's those IMDb's again getting, getting me. <laughs> it wasn't getting me. Oh, it happens. Yeah. 
I should probably find Brooklyn wherever he's gone. I don't know where he went. <laughs> Hashtag find Brooklyn. Hashtag where's Brooklyn? Hashtag where's no Brooklyn? sleep Hashtag in the Brooklyn. Hashtag re- reunite Royal Flush. <laughs> yeah. Can we just, can I fly to Canada and then we can have a hug? <laughs> oh, jeez. Gotta make a GoFundMe for that first. Ah, oh, can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> can, can we can we can we do a GoFundMe? Uh, can we set that up? Maybe. I'm sure all a hundred people watching will pay <laughs> about a hundred pounds each, and then I can go to Canada and have spending money. I don't know what pounds are, man. Living in oh, the what, what a pound! It's like what you measure butter in. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 that's yeah. kilos. Metric system, guys, come on. So if it. everyone gives me a uh, hundred, hundred pounds of butter each, I could, I could make a really, <laughs> what, make, like, make a really slippery yeah, slide. Yeah. Yeah. And bake some cakes. Uh, Can we have uh, cake next time. Okay. Oh, cool. That's not really up to you guys. <laughs> I should have cake next time. I'm bringing cake next time. Yay for Ooh. cake. <laughs> what am I doing next? When, uh, when am I next doing? Never, right? Because I keep losing. I, I, I'll have to look into the schedule and look at, into uh, people uh, who have a similar record that you could face. Uh, but I think we'll get there at one point. Anyway, well, jo- uh, well done. Good job, both of you. Jesus Christ, well done and good job. You should not mix those two together. That doesn't go well. Uh, well anyway, with that, that all job. said, uh, Asher, what are your thoughts on this match? This was a real tit for tat right here, Case. This was a real, uh, real yeah. boxing match. <laughs> Uh, it's good that I'm. It's good that I'm the professional one here in this situation. Yeah, that, um, and that's surprising. That's yeah, surprise. yeah. Um, but cool. Uh, it was a real boxing match. Uh, real good back and forth. Ryan got. Uh, like Ryan got four points in Harry Potter, which was pretty impressive. I was shocked when that happened, but he got it. Uh, and the Julie Andrews that could. Uh, which this time would have been just a centimeter off the, the wheel, uh, but that didn't happen. Uh, Ryan persevered and won by one point uh, with his five still to go. Very good match by both competitors, and I can't wait to see this uh, number one contender match, and I can't wait to see what Ed does next. Maybe maybe wears more scarves or something. Uh, yeah, or I might eat. I, 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 I think uh, I think they'll be back uh, sooner rather than later uh, for some new uh, boss. Uh, but with that Yay. said, guys, uh, you, bro. <laughs> that's a possibility. Anyway, guys, with that said, that was the match. Please like the video, comment on it. We want the support. We need support. Share it on social media, wherever you can, uh, because we love it. Also, please join the Facebook page where you can find us uh, talking all kinds of shit all the time. Uh, Every day something is going down, uh, whether it's with Atomic Nation or the Renegade Angels or or something else. Or Clarks. Or Clarks. Uh, Ash's new faction that he just announced, actually. Yeah. Uh, So please do (laughs) join the Facebook page where actually you have a chance of uh, competing. If you're not in there already, check it out because you might be able to compete there. Uh, Also, this is not the only league on this channel besides the singles league. This is the singles league. We have a team league as well. Also, World War Movie Trivia. Same format but two versus two we have a different type of trivia league in full metal trivia which uh is run by a couple of other guys they do a great job check that out and with all that said that was my co-host asher bold gold i am the grand admiral case cornelissa and we will see you at the next match keep taking it bye jim i'm a fish what are i leaving ed ed whoa 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 ed What's Is going that... on, man? What's going on? You you seem distracted. Oh, hey, you... uh, where did you get there? Why what? am I here? Well, you just had your match. You had your match with Ryan. You're you're still here, yeah, and but what, my t-shirt what? changed somehow. <sighs> my, my, well, mine didn't. But oh. uh, what, what what can you 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 lost Brooklyn? Where's Brooklyn? We need we need Brooklyn for this. Brook- yeah, well, I've been looking. He's not under my pillow. He's not. He's not under the scarf. <laughs> Uh, I got checked in my kitchen for him making a sandwich. He wasn't there either. I don't know where he is. Damn. Uh, yeah. Br- Brooklyn said he uh, he he retired. Uh, he made a post about that. He he doesn't want to compete anymore. 
But like, I, I, I think you need to. Wasn't in the old people's home when I looked there. So he's not retired. Guys, can... guys, guys! I'm here. I'm Put here. here. Oh, thank Ed, God. <laughs> Ed, where's the one spot you didn't check? If I if I'm not in the kitchen making sandwiches, I have to go to the store. The store. Right? I have to go to the store. Whoa. How else am I making sandwiches? I have to go to the store to get stuff. Oh my god! Come on, I think of it. You, 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 you oh know me. God. But while I was at the store, I went to the produce section and I came across um, a, a, a champion, uh, a champion that is actually oh. in your neck of the woods. Oh. Um, I will, and they're actually here right now. I'll let them introduce themselves. Oh my god! So. Uh... So I had like a kind of a wild weekend and I ended up in a produce aisle in British Columbia. Um, and this guy comes up to me and he's, he says that he's like done with movie trivia and that I got to come back. And I mean, I was having a great time. There were like models and, and margaritas. Um, but apparently one of Brooklyn's friends needed help. And uh, God, I guess. Uh, Luca, are you like back? back? You're uh, back. Yeah. I'm I'm Whoa. gonna get back in the ring. Um, already heard that uh, that Ed was in need of a in need of a friend, and I thought, oh well, yeah, you know, we need friends. <laughs> we're uh, we're countrymen, uh, and, uh, and yeah, I, like to be honest, I consider myself a bit of an upgrade. So uh, yeah, let's do this. This sounds like a fun idea. Whoa. So okay, so the new uh, royal flush will be Ed and Luca. Um, uh, well, yeah. we're, we're, hold back on that. We're not gonna keep the royal flush name. Um, we were having a chat, and uh, so me and Ed decided that, uh, you know, we're both kind of Harry Potter fans, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a Slytherin, I don't know too much about Ed, but it seems like he's repping the same thing, uh, and we are going to be uh, the Parcel Mouths, which, uh, you know, makes sense, we speak to snakes a lot, we're on the <coughs> um, Let me just so demonstrate here. Demonstrate here, so right, so, uh, so yeah. That's, uh, it's awesome. Pasty, do you understand that? You're, you're a snake. You hey, 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 it, hey, right? hey, hey, yeah. hey, yeah. I've seen a lot of Harry Potter, uh, so yeah, I, I did very much get that. And what I get is that, that while, while you change your name, sucks. <laughs> and while you, na uh, while you may change your name to Parcel Mouths, I will let you keep the record of two and two with two TKOs. And hey. then I'll look, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna look into what uh, team you could face next. Now, th that said, though, um, look, you're back. In teams, but are you back in singles as well? Yeah, so that's an interesting one. Uh, I think that, given my record... Um, three and one. I mean, three and one. Three and one's pretty impressive, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, I think... Let's let's come back. Let's see. Who you got for me? Because the thing is, a three and one record... Well, I... I actually probably a number one contender match just before you left. Mm -hmm. So I think that I still owe you a number one contender match. Now, there is a number one contender match coming up, and I think you could take revenge for Ed. You could avenge him because Ed just lost to Ryan, and Ryan is in that number one contender match. I can put you in that with Sandy and Ryan, and you could take him on. Sandy Robinson and Ryan Parmesan. Well, you've, you've beaten Sandy already. I've beaten Sandy missions. already. I've beaten the current champ, and I'm about to make Ryan very, very sad because, uh, yeah, put me in it. All right, that's, that's the deal then. Is he All right, so permission to beat Ryan. Permission. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to this. I don't like sand either. I don't like sand. It's yeah. coarse and rough, and it gets Irritate, everywhere. It gets everywhere. Yeah, definitely. All right, that is going to be a thing. It's going to be awesome. Look out for it in November. Butcher's back. Parcel mouse for life. <laughs> <laughs>